Hello YouTube, welcome back to our channel, The Big King Family. I'm coming to you today, I'm in my bathroom today. I feel like it's pretty lit in here, like a lot of good light and it's just the perfect place to do a video, nice and quiet, not in the living room or right around doing the book and stuff. So I'm coming to you today with a hygiene haul. I'm gonna show you some more different things that I have that I, I use or I have not even tried yet, but I just wanna try to see what's going on with them right with you guys, okay? So let's get started. Okay, the first thing I got is these three Vaseline lotions. I got this men extra strength one. I don't know. It it says um heals very dry skin in five days. That's what it says down there. Okay. And I do I have my thousand wishes candles burning. It smells so good in this little space, you know. So I mean, I, I don't really care if stuff be men or women. If it's really good, I'm gonna get it and I'm gonna try it. I have never tried this, so I'll just have to be trying it. And it do kind of have a light musk scent, but that's fine. Yeah, I really I probably wanna use this on my heels, my heels and my elbows. And do you guys know I'm serious? I mean, I don't know if that's a good or bad thing, but right behind my neck be being a little dry. And I want to moisturize it. One thing I'm going to do is look for a really good oil. I've seen people talk about the Palmer's oil and the Shea, Bo Shea Butter, Shea Moisture. The Shea Moisture oil and the uh, Palmer's oil. So I'm going to try those two first on my elbows and on my uh, the heel of my feet and right behind my neck. In order to keep, just to keep that moisturized, it seems to get a lot more drier than other parts of my body. Because as you can see, my face is oily enough. I always have a real oily skin on my face, but uh, I guess it's not a, that big of a problem. All right, so I'm going to go to this one right here. This is the Cocoa Radiant. with It has pure cocoa butter in it. And cocoa butter, how you can't miss me with that because I really love the scent of cocoa butter. Okay, so that one right there. I've had this one before. I really like it. It was the smell of that cocoa butter. I love the smell of cocoa butter. But I really like it. But, I mean, it, I wouldn't say it's the best of the best. But it will keep you from being ashy. But, you know, I just want to say it's the best of the best. And I probably won't be buying this no more. Uh, I just, I want to find some items that, that really, um, that really help, help with my skin and my, um, and my body, you know, that help me. It, it will keep you from being ashy, but this just, it just don't hold up as good. You know, I got to find some really good lotion. I really do. I'm not going to lie, Eucerin. It's pretty good, but I don't like how medicated it smells. It smells kind of like medicated. I, I just don't know what. I just don't like that about it. But you smell pretty good. I'll give it that. Now, we do have this Nest Vaseline one. It is the Soothing Hydration with Triple Hydration Complex. Okay. It has um, aloe vera Vaseline jelly in it. So, that may help a lot with uh, moisture. It heals and refreshes dry skin without feeling so greasy. So I guess without that oil-like feel, this is that one. I'm going to put that up there for a little while. You can guys see that one, okay? Because uh, this is one I have not used before. And I really think it's going to, it may be a little, you know, it may make a difference. And then this one for the men, it's going to be, you know, a little stronger, a little more with the moisturizing because they're dealing with men's skin. So they're thinking that's what they're dealing with. So I'm going to try those two and this cocoa butter one. You know, I might just give it to someone. You never know. All right. So these are the Vaseline lotions that I have, okay? And these are all just 10 fluid ounces. Next, I have good old Reliable Caress Soap. Who don't love Caress Body Soap? This is the regular one, Daily Silk. Was it their very first uh, scent? I mean, this is pretty much the all-time original Daily Silk. Six bars, you can smell right through it. You know what? I really haven't been a big bar soap user, so I might give this to someone too, but I just, I've never been a real big bar soap user, but it smells good. It even looks good. I even like the shape of the Caress Body Soap. So, Caress Body Soap, Daily Silk. And with the Caress Body Soap, I've seen a lot of different um, scents that you can find like in Big Lots and Rosses and places like that. Just, you know, different department stores that um, I'll be watching um, hygiene hauls on. I love the different scents. So I might use some of the different soaps just to try the scents and see how they are and, and hope and pray that they come out in a body wash with them. <laughs> Something like that. Okay. okay we're going to stay on that lotion and moisturizer theme. I have these two little bitty jerkin things. I used to keep these in my purse all the time. Little bitty jerkins thing of lotion. This is the cherry almond. And this one right here is the ultra healing. I'm going to throw both of these right in my purse. That one. It's three fluid ounces. Cherry almond. People love that um, that scent, and so do I. Then this is the Ultra Healing. 
I don't keep both of them because my husband, he probably not going to put the cherry on. He always said, you got some hand ties with baby. You got some lotion, baby. He know I'm pretty much going to have that in my purse. I'm going to put both of these in my purse so I have something for my husband and then something for myself or my hands, you know. I always have love. Let me smell this cherry blossom. Look, I got some of that lotion on my, <laughs> on my nose. Mmm, smells so good. This one say helps with extra dry skin though. So this may be the one that would work a little better. Sometimes the scents, that's not what it's all about. It, it definitely needs to be helping you with your skin and your body. Ultra healing. That's probably a really good one. Okay. And then I got this lotion. This is the Suave Olive Vera Aloe Soothing Lotion. Aloe Soothing Lotion. I like the packaging of this lotion. It's just really pretty. But I've never had real good experience with Suave Lotion. Yeah, to keep you from being ashy, just like I've said about some of the other ones. But it just really, you know, the moisture kick is just not there for me. So I probably won't be buying Suave anymore. But it definitely comes in handy when it comes to the kids. And, and me too, if I don't have anything else to um, put on, okay? This is kind of a bigger one, 18 fluid ounce of the lotion, okay? Never been real big on the pumps. That's what I'm going to say, though. Never been real, see, like you can't get as much out of the pumps. As you can the squeeze bottle i do not know why but it seemed like that for me so uh, i probably will not be getting pump items you know i got i got some pump body washes and some pump lotions and my pumps uh, my pump hand soap but i think hand soap is better with a pump so hand soap may be what i will keep with a pump but that's about it i mean i think i do want um pump bottles like for my dish detergent and for my liquid soap you know, but other than that, no, not for the lotion or body wash. I feel like I can't get as much out of it as I can the squeeze kind. Mm -hmm. Not lotion, but it definitely will moisturize your body. You hear me? My skin and, and my face, you don't want no dark skin person walking around oily and shiny. Not, not like that. I just don't want it. I don't want it for my face. So, I don't never put it on my face. I do not. I don't put no Vaseline on my face. But my husband, he loves his on Vaseline. Do you hear me? He pretty much used this kind. The original Vaseline. I don't even know if this one is open. Yeah, this one ain't even open. He would use this all the time. Now, when it comes to my feet, though, ooh, it, de it does the trick, but I don't like the oiliness feel of it. That's the only thing, darn. But this definitely did do a trick when it comes to moisturizing. Okay, and here is some more kind. This is the Cocoa Butter, you know, healing jelly. Um, and it probably does the same thing the other one does. I think this is brand new, too. Oh, no, somebody done dipped in it. You can't tell somebody done kind of. Dipped in it. It's been dipped in once. I thought it was brand new. So sorry about that, you guys. But um, he probably ended up giving this one to me. And I don't think he liked nothing with, you know, fruity scents. Uh, scents. I don't. He don't like nothing with like scents to him. Nah, unless it's like a mug scent, you know. But one thing he do love. Woo. The uh, Johnson and Johnson has a baby perfume. Wait a second, I'm gonna get one for okay, you. Show this you. right here, what I'm talking about. This um Johnson and Johnson baby cologne. He uses this just for work. In everyday life, work in everyday life. We're going somewhere else. He might put on his body spray from Bath and Body Works. He has a couple of colognes. But this right here, this is baby right here. The Johnson & Johnson baby cologne. He actually got just a regular small spray bottle. He put it in there and he, spray, he sprays his clothes and himself with this every single day. He really loves that smell of this. And I do too. It smells so good on him. It does. Yeah, so I really love this for, for my husband. I think it was a great pick for him. Like the average everyday wear. I guess he don't want to be just too strong, but still be smelling good at the same time. So, yeah. Hey, if anybody never tried this, I mean, it's good for adults. That's a grown man using it. So, you know, it would be very good for adults. Um, this Baby Johnson cologne. Walmart can't even hardly keep it in stock. So, I think anybody who discovers it, loves it, and buys it up. Okay. Who don't like good old reliable? Green alcohol, okay? I used to use this to clean my face with. I did. But I don't know why I stopped using it. Maybe it was drying my face out a little bit. But um, I've seen a lot of hygiene hauls and stuff. And then I do I do want to start... Um, I might want to do a video on different tips that I have learned that has worked great for me. One, I'm going to say right now. I can't think of these girls' names and stuff. But it's two or three of them that I watch all the time. Um... One is Catherine. I watch Catherine a lot. And then I watch Chloe a lot. And then there's another um, African young lady. She's beautiful. She always has her hair in braids. Another mixed young lady. She has a beautiful, beautiful um, 
hair she always wear it up in a puff those are two more that i watch i can't think of their names right now but one thing that um the young lady she's african and maybe half black i don't know um she said, is it, if this is your first time seeing my face, please click the button. Yeah, I just remember her intro all the time. But um, she says that she sprays, I think she'll spray with perfume, and then she'll come back with her Bath and Body Works spray. She, she said that she layers. She layers scents. So that what I have been starting doing it, and it'll be on me all day long. I mean, you know, if you spray with that one spray and stuff, sometimes your scent may not be on you all day long, but it will be on you all day long if you layer certain scents and use kind of layer scents. Oh, wait, I guess if you're doing the lotion and then the body spray and then a little bit of the perfume to kind of top it off. Yes, yeah, when you're layering um, scents, you do, you just smell good all day. So that's one hygiene trick or tip that I have learned that really helps a lot. I love that. But anyway... Uh, old green alcohol you're going to use it for some everything cleaning everything like for us cleaning your body and stuff i used to uh, yeah clean my face and neck with it. i used to but i don't i don't too much do that no more but i sure used to do it maybe i should start back i don't know green alcohol tell me what y'all use green alcohol for because it has a lot of uses yeah we always keep some green alcohol in the house regardless my mom would definitely make sure she always kept alcohol around definitely she said when you're um when something is aching on you, if you just rub it and rub it, it'll, it'll ease it down and take the soreness out of it. I believe it worked because you always used it all the time. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys all three toothpastes that I have for this haul. Uh, this is the Crest Whitening. This right here ain't nothing but about $1 or $2 in Family Dollar or Dollar General. It's a pretty big tube. It will brush your teeth, help keep your breath from stinking, but it is just, you know, when it comes to whitening, it say whitening right here, but you know, when it comes to whitening, strengthening, repairing your enamel and stuff like that, I don't know if this would be your go-to, you know, this is something that will that is, um, I'll do your basic cleaning and uh, help keep your breath from stinking, okay? This crest right here, okay? Uh, this one right here, I'm not going to lie, the SF, I really did like it, and I don't even totally know what that SF means, you hear me? But... This total SF when it came with, I got several different kinds of it. This one is sensitivity relief. So, and it's just, it's it's a better one. This is a better one, the SF brands. Uh, this is a better one from Colgate. So I really do like this one. I use it, but I probably won't be buying it anymore because our favorite is the Crest 3D. Our favorite is Crest 3D. Everybody know about that one because so many people use that and stuff. But our next favorite, Colgate Optic White. It's a Optic White and it do help make your teeth whiter and it repairs your tooth enamel. This is good toothpaste. Regular price, you're going to pay 4 or $5 for it, but you can always catch it on sale with rebates, coupons, and get it for very, very, very cheap. Remove six times more surface stains with micro polishing action. That's what it has in it stain fighter it, it's going to make your teeth a little whiter and it's going to help with the stains okay it's going to help enamel safe it's going to help with your enamel too keep it really safe really nice keep it from damaging anymore because you won't have all that plaque and gunk on your teeth you know so i really opted white crest 3d this will probably be the only two two paces i'm trying to find something that we really really like and then stick with them on top of that there's a couple that I'm trying right now that might come into the boat. So we will see. So after white, get it. If you want to whiten your teeth, get it. Yeah, it'll help. Okay, body washes. That's what I'd be one of the most exciting things I love to see is the body washes. First of all, I have this big old Dow, big pump one, big humongous one. It's the spring waters. Spring waters um, scent. I'm sure it smells so good. I love Oh, I love anything good and refreshing and everything like that. But Dow is, it don't foam up as good as I would like for it to. Soap up, foam up as good as I would love for it to. I think her name is Ash. Something Ash. She just did a bath routine. And, it, and her, her foam and her lab was, were so lavered up and stuff like that. Dow to me just doesn't laver up very well. But it smells so good and I would definitely use it. And plus, like I said, I don't too much like the pump. But at the end of the day, I could take the pump off. But even if I did, to flip it and try to get the best use out of it, I guess I would just have to use the little bitty bitty bit for bubbles. But it would be more than I would want to use for bubbles. I would probably want to use a lot of that for, you know, bathing with. But anyway, this is a hydrating. It's supposed to be a hydrating body wash. 
I guess with moisture or and um it's spring water. It smells real good though. It really does. It smells really good. Then I have this dragon fruit one. This is a limited edition dragon fruit. I don't too much like the smell of it. You know, I already I got one in the shower right now. I'm trying to finish them up. For some reason I went crazy and got about four or five of these. I don't know what I got going on. Douse, it be smelling pretty good too. For one, it ain't quite as thick as as thick as the other body washes and it don't lather up as well. So yeah. But this smells okay. If you like dragon fruit, you probably love this. But it smells okay. Alrighty. And these are 21 fluid out bottles. To me, Dow come in a bigger bottle. It do, it do. Most of them be 18 ounces and stuff. But these, these are little bigger bottles. Won't be getting Dow anymore, though. Dow is something I just, I don't too much like. I don't know. Uh, it's just, I mean, it's just not as good as the other ones that I've used. But I like I like, I like it now. I don't need to twist it. But uh, this is Clean Plus Gems. I've never had this one. This is supposed to be like a newer one. Hyperallergenic. Uh, body wash okay and it has aloe in it skin smart is dye free power down free phosphate free silicone free and dermatologist tested okay so this is going to be a really light one probably could use this on a baby like as it is but for it to be so light it has a wonderful smell to it it smells good so refreshing so light you know like a like uh what um i can't think of that what they call that like watercress, watercress light, just real light, you know, like a light salad. It will smell light of spring and maybe the grass, but not, not as harsh as grass grass in the summertime. So, yeah, just got a real light, pleasant scent to it. Um, this one right here, if I really like this one, though, I'll, I'll get it again. This is a newer one that I'm going to try up down. If I really like these new Clean Plus Gentle ones, I might keep, drink, I might keep getting these, but... You know, other than that, Dial is really not my thing. I really love Caress, and I do love Suave. It's a cheaper brand of body wash, but that is, oh, I really love Suave. I absolutely love Bath & Body Work body washes. But as I've said time and time again, I have to wait for this to go and see my annual sale. I can't see myself paying 12 13 or 14 bucks for a little 8 ounce of body wash. It won't last me long or whatever, you know? So, okay. So, those are my three Dial, different scents of Dial body wash that I have. My last body wash. I only have a, a few things left over there. This is Ivory Body Wash, and this is a lavender scent. Lavender scent Ivory Body Wash. I like I like to do packaging. It's a big 30 ounce body wash. It just does not work well for me. I like it. It's light. So for those of you who don't like the real perfumey strong kind of body washes or whatnot, yeah, this will be just right for you. It's real light. It smells okay and it, it'll get the job done. It will get the job done, but not one of my favorites. I probably won't be buying this again. To me, it's a little more liquidy. Um, I had this before and I really didn't straight up like it, but I had already bought two or three bottles. So that's probably, this probably is just from that when I had it. So yeah, I probably won't be buying this no more, but Ivory is good. It probably can be, you may even, you, no, I doubt you can use it on a baby, but um, it is for those who like a lighter body wash. Let me see how the lavender smell real quick though. The lavender smell a little different. It don't really have that like lavender scent to it. It smells okay though. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I have the U by Kotec liners. Okay. I really, TMI, I really don't never have that problem anymore monthly, month to month or nothing like that because of my birth control. But if I do ever have that, I always keep like one pack of pads and one pack of painting liners on hand just in case. So these U by Kotec right here, I, to me, a liner is a liner and a pad is a pad. Something I have really, really uh, seen a difference with is the always pads. I'm just going to tell the truth about it. Better. Woo. Very very um absorbent everything like that keep you drier and everything and fresher and everything I, I like i like that always okay but um one that my daughters really love that is kind of weird but they really love them probably because they're so good it's the poise you got to be the thin active ones or whatnot but they really like those poise pads they say they're very good so yeah whenever i can get the thinner ones you know i will get those for the girls they really like the poise pads Okay, so you buy Kotex uh, painting liners. This is a 64 count, so <laughs> this part lasts me for life. <laughs> this candle is smelling so good right here. Oh, my Lord. Woo, we smell so good. So I got this swab. I did get the shampoo and the conditioner, okay? And then they're saying that you're getting a bigger value size. So how big are these? Oh, these are 15 fluid ounces. The other ones probably used to be about 12, 12 ounces, 15 fluid ounce. And this is of the coconut oil infusion. 
Okay, I am going to keep these for myself and use these and see how they work. Some of that swallow stuff, when you really get on up into the better ones they're making, be pretty good. I've never tried this. I would love to try this coconut oil infused uh, shampoo and body wash, okay? One of my favorite body washes is Tresemme. And a lot of people are like, what? What do you mean? But I really, I really like it. You can really tell that you have cleaned your hair when you use that Tresemme. I love it. But this suave oil infused coconut one, I am definitely going to try it. And let me see how they smell for coconut. Oh, I love a coconut scented item. I can't hardly smell the coconut in the shampoo. Oh, it's much stronger in the conditioner. I love coconut scented items. And man, I'm going to kind of stick with coconut. Coconut smells good in anything. I just love it. And I love, I don't like the texture. But coconut flavored anything, I pretty much like it. Okay, we do. We use these um all all be complete glide scope outlast outlast floss picks. Okay, this is what we use. I hope you can you guys can see that the outlast floss picks. Okay, these right here when you're cleaning your mouth with them. And so I actually love these. They're very gentle. They're wonderful. They get in between your teeth. I love them. Um, and they also leave like a minty scent right in your mouth. So it's like. <laughs> You wash your mouth out plus floss at the same time. And they're little bitty picks and stuff. And even at the bottom of the pick, you got that where you can kind of go through there like that. And then go ahead and use the floss light to get everything else out. We love these floss picks. They last a long time. One bag probably lasts us three months. So they last a long time. They're good. I like that they have that little minty scent to them. Um, you have those like AIM. You got AIM. And it's another one that I see all the time. Dentex. So both of those do sell these, but as of now, man, this has sold me. Um, me and my husband both use these, and these come sometimes they can run four to six dollars now. But I really like them. We really like them. That's why we always get them, and we'll probably forever more get these unless I see one that I want to try. Okay, so we love these um, floss sticks. We really do. Last but not least are these renews it solids right here. They can be a dollar a piece at places and a little over a dollar. But if you get them on a rebate or with coupons, you can get them down as low as 25 to 30 cents, maybe even free. So what you want to do is just try to uh, check, check out uh, the Ibotta and the uh, Fetch Rewards. Check that stuff out and you can get these things really cheap. I love these. They don't last super long. They may last 10 days. I'm going to give them 10 days. If you put them in a small enough space, just a small room, just a room atmosphere. Okay. And then my husband used them in our truck. So if you use them in a small space um, atmosphere or whatnot, they're going to last you about 10 days. They smell really good. As you can guess, this is our favorite scent, the Snuggle Linen Escape. This is a fresh, strong, fresh breeze, um, fresh laundry breeze um, scent. You're going to smell it. It smells really good. We love it. I actually have to put a new one in our bedroom. I always keep, I just keep one in on top of the dresser just because. It smells really good. It really does. But what I wanted to show you right here is how they snuck in and, and kind of had a little different packaging. I guess the only thing they did was put a few more things right here and then this little green across the top. I don't know what that was all about. But I be watching these different things and stuff. And man, especially on the body washes, they be change, they be having the same scent and they be changing them packages up. But most of the time it be for the better. I just love seeing a very beautiful, very pretty uh, package. Our packaging like to me the opti white has a very pretty packaging to me i don't know why it's so pretty you know and of course caress always has had such a pretty packaging to me okay and look at this thousand wishes candle bath and body work did their thing with this candle it's so pretty this is the end of my video i thank you guys for watching me thank you for joining me i hope you saw some stuff that you may want to try and you can't wait to for me to do the empty video to tell you how i like it i mean i, just, I really love Bath, bath, beauty, hygiene, stuff to make my house smell good, just whatever, you know, so I don't know. I think that really brings a lot of um, women joy. Don't know why, but it really does. But you have your men that be on that hygiene game too, but leave that because my husband is definitely like that. He's on that hygiene game, but leave that. So thank you for joining me. Thank you for listening to me. And until next time, YouTube, stay blessed.